Today on Gragnock the Gamer Channel, the how-to series for stationaires. The first episode in this new series will cover how to build a furnace and smelt steel. Items needed to build the furnace and the exhaust system is a furnace kit, four iron sheets, five pipes, two pipe valves, and a passive vent. So here at the auto lathe, we're going to look at the list of items we could build and search for the kit furnace. And there it is. Then we're going to scroll down to iron sheets. And we're going to go ahead and close the window and go over to the hydraulic pipe bender. So there's the pipe. We'll need five of those. We'll need one passive vent kit and then the where's it the pipe valve kit we'll need two of those so go ahead and turn that off and I already have the items pre-made uh, just to save some time so we're going to start with the furnace kit we're going to work on the orientation so perfectly in a six uh, actually six frame area two by three you also can do a two by four uh, two by two uh, for this demonstration will be two by three. So we're going to add two iron sheets with a wrench, then two more iron sheets with a welding torch. And there you go. Now at the end, we're going to have to put in two pipes, one at the input and one at the output. Next we'll have to put up the or put in the pipe valves, making sure that the green is pointing away from the furnace. And at the top one we'll have to do an elbow pulling down. Make sure we have the input and the output. The input is for there for us so we can pump gas into the furnace so we don't have to add volatile and ice oxide ice. And then one pointing up and one pointing away from the away from the furnace. And then we're gonna put a straight pipe between the two. And then we're going to add our pipe, our uh, passive vent. There we go. And everything looks good. Everything's closed. So we can't make any steel right now. We'll have to wait until the sun goes down. Um, that's the problem with working with ice. So warning, if you're going to do some furnace work you have to wait till night if not the ice will melt so I'm gonna pause it right here and we'll come back and smelt some steel and we're back so while I was off camera I decided to go uh, mine some iron ore coal volatiles and oxide so let's look at the recipes we need for first the fuel mixture. We'll need two volatiles and one oxide. And we also have to make sure our valves are closed when we add this stuff in. So we have to have two volatiles and we'll just add that. And then one ice. After putting any ice into the machine, you should hit the activate button. So there goes the volatile, uh, 
oxide and the volatiles. Then the ratio for steel is 3 to 1, 3 iron ore and 1 coal. For example, 30 iron ore to 10 coal will give you steel. So now we have four steel ingots. Now over here in the furnace, actually the arc furnace, I have copper. And the problem is arc furnaces do not smelt copper and gold very well. But when you do in your furnace, after you do something like steel or other alloys, you have some leftover heat to smelt other ores. Like for the time that it took us to make two bars of copper, we got 15 bars of copper. Future episodes will include other uh, smelting of alloys, super alloys, and also um, construction of a solar power plant on the moon.